Before we can begin our story, we have to go back to the year 1945, right around the end of the Second World War. What was once discovered to possibly be used as a new form of energy was turned into a super weapon. President Truman gave the order, and on August 6, 1945, the uranium-235 bomb, nicknamed Little Boy, was dropped, decimating a whole city and everyone in its path. We cannot separate ourselves from history, because when we do, we become desensitized. That is why it's so important for us to remember and reflect. We are introduced to Suzu, a traditional character in a traditional marriage. And despite the difference between then and modern times, she's very relatable. Not just that, she's sweet and kind. She loves art, can be a little naive at times, but is also very inventive. Suzu is not the only notable character I want to mention. Now, I won't go through all the interesting side characters in the film, but one stands out above the rest. The city of Hiroshima, which is treated not just as a beautiful city, but as a character all in its own. The director took so much time researching and creating a tangible city that you felt like you could reach out and touch that no longer exists as it did then. Whatever shops and stores that were once there are mostly gone or left only in the memories of adults who were children in that time. Despite the chaos, we see unity. From pain blossoms love and newfound kinships. Without giving too much of the plot away, I want to encourage you to see this film, especially in this chaotic time. We may be torn apart, but we can be brought together by love.